Well, you guys seem to like our live action Superman tier ranking. Well, most of you seem to like our live action Superman tier ranking. And by popular demand, we will be doing a tier ranking on some of the highest rated animated Superman voice actors. Now, this is not going to be a comprehensive list. This is a list made up of about 15 names that we kind of scoured the internet for. So we looked at multiple top 10 lists on sites like Screen Rant. We looked at multiple YouTube videos. And of course, the end all be all of everything popular, Reddit. We went on Reddit and just picked out some of the most mentioned names. So if your favorite Superman voice actor is not on this tier list, Show them some love down in the comments, drop those names down in there, let us know why you love them, and let us know where they would rank for you. And as always, these are only our opinions, and our opinions are certainly not sacred, and we definitely want to hear your opinions. So drop those down in the comments as well. Let us know where you would rank all of these guys. And hey, while you're down there, yeah, and give this video a like. We'd really appreciate it. And without further ado, we can jump right into our list. And we are starting off strong, guys, with Tim Daly from Superman, the animated series. Uh, I was kind of, we were talking a little bit before we started recording and I told Chris there are about three or four names on here that when I think of Superman in my head, that's the voice I hear. This gentleman is probably one of the first ones, is Tim Daly. Um, so. He, for me, is definitely a so good. I loved Superman the Animated Series. Still love Superman the Animated Series. One of my favorite Superman portrayals overall. Yeah, 100% agree. Uh, pretty much the exact same reasons, man. <laughs> I mean, when I think about Superman the Animated Series, I mean, he was in there for multiple years. Yeah. He, he, even the Justice League, right? So we'll get to that in a little bit. He uh, he was not able to do the Justice League. Oh, but we okay. have another another strong voice actor on here uh, coming up in a little bit that we can talk about then. But yeah, throughout the entire run of Superman the Animated Series, it was Tim Daly and just it's man, fantastic. Yeah, synonymous with that character. He and and he had that little subtle difference between Superman and Clark Kent as well that I, I really appreciated. So. Great portrayal, Tim Daly, one of the best. I'm sure many of you will agree with that. I think overall, this was probably the name I saw on every list. Yeah. Uh, very close to the top, if not right at the top, so. And next up we have old Steve the Pirate himself. This is Alan Tudyk, and he was uh, Superman in um, Justice League War, I believe, was where his portrayal was. I'm actually kind of surprised that I saw his name mentioned in as many lists as I saw, since he only kind of had that one off and he's far more known for doing other voices in the DC universe and actually he's still going to be doing voices in the DC universe. I think he's been cast in Creature Commandos and um, he's got some kind of a, a part in uh, James Gunn's Superman that I don't think has been disclosed yet. So he is a DC guy. I always think of him more as Green Arrow um, because he was in Young Justice as Green Arrow. Uh, but that I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I did see this movie. I did see his portrayal as Superman. I thought it was decent. I, I don't know that he would be one of my top rated, but certainly uh, was, was a lot of people's top rated. I'm not sure yet where I'd want to put him. I want to hear from you a little bit on this one. I, I saw the movie. I thought it was good. Um, his overall portrayal of Superman was good. Um, and that's pretty much the rating that, uh, that good. I, I think I'd rate him as is, yeah. is that kind of that good rating. He, he did a really good job disguising his voice because he mm -hmm. didn't sound like him at all. Like, right. But there was that little, almost little bit of goofiness mm -hmm. in the voice that I kept picking up. So I could go good. I'm kind of maybe not BS. You thinking good? Uh, I could go either uh, either option. Uh, actually, th with this list, to be honest, I don't have anybody that's rated lower than not BS. <laughs> yeah, this is, guys. That's that's the uh, that's that's the uh, interesting thing about picking some of your highest rated voice actors. <laughs> You're probably not going to get a whole lot of bad performances in here. But uh, again, these are all opinions. So some w what some people rate someone we might think differently and you might think differently. But yeah. Uh, you You're kind of in between. I'm kind of in between. So I can accept like I'm good with Let's, either one, not BS or good. I think he falls right, kind of right in that right range. In the, yeah. I think he's a kind of a strong not BS, but. I would, I would say so, yeah. So let, we'll put him at not BS for now. We may make changes before the end of the video. This one is the second voice that I think of when I think of Superman. This is Danny Dark from the Super yes. Friends. Mm -hmm. My, just, that's your childhood right there. I mean, I, I know so many of our audience are big fans of the Super Friends as well and are feeling that same nostalgia. It's just, it's such an iconic voice. Oh like, yeah, 100%. Oh, 
I think there's no doubt where this one's going to be going for the both of us. No, so. yeah, we're, we'll just go. We, no, no need to delay. We're putting them in so good. But yeah, I mean, I, I just recently picked up that uh, new Super Friends set, and I've been oh. watching some of that, and man, that voice is just as good as ever. So Danny Dark, for sure, a so good for us. And now we go to, oh, this is Jerry O'Connell, and he is, man, he's had a lot of portrayals of Superman. He was he did. kind of took over as the main voice actor there for a while in the DCAU. I'm trying to think which one kind of sticks out the most to me. I'll tell you what, I really, the, the death of Superman and reign of the Superman movies, I thought were really good, and he was he was the voice for Superman in those. Mm -hmm. I will mention that I know his, his, uh, his Superman voice acting progressively got better. Yeah, as I would the say that did. for sure. Uh, so, you know, it's like, it was just like, all right, the first yeah. movie, second movie, okay. And then third one was like, okay, he's nailing this now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, I, and, I don't remember those orders. <laughs> and, well, I think I think Death and Reign of were some of the more recent ones. Yeah. So he was really good and really strong in those. And that's I when I think I actually just, first, I was like, who's voice acting him? I was like, oh, it was Jerry. And I was like, oh, we did fun before that too. Yeah. So I don't think he's quite a so good for me. I think he's probably in the good territory. 100% good. Right. Mm -hmm. We'll go with good. Our first good of the video. Yeah. And then we got another newer addition to the Superman animated voice acting is Darren Chris, and he's been kind of portraying it really recently. In fact, he's been uh, the Superman in the most recent Crisis on Infinite Earths saga. So those three movies, if you guys have seen those yet, we're, we're two of those movies in. We haven't seen the third yet. Um, and he's done quite a few other ones. Uh, I, th I think my standout for him was Superman Man of Tomorrow. I really like that one quite mm -hmm. a bit. He's another one that I think is kind of, it's probably on the same level as Jerry. Yeah, um, I think he is on that same level as Jerry. i kind of going back and forth between him being a so good and a good, just because I really liked uh, his actual like kind of portray portrayal of Superman. Um, some of these other actors, I just don't think we're quite like this, yeah. but him, I, I liked him a lot. So uh, I'm good with so good, good. He's to me, he's like in that tiny the, the top tier. He's up there. He's mm -hmm. not quite so good for me, given who like the two that we have on so good right now. I don't think he's at their level, but I would agree that he's on good. And I'm, I'll put him. We're not typically going to rank these in in the in the tiers themselves, but I'll put him above Jerry O'Connell. Now we have this is Kyle McLaughlin, uh, who I love as an actor, by the way. I, I had actually forgotten he had portrayed Superman in this movie, and I didn't realize it was him when I first saw this movie. It's uh, Justice League: New Frontier, which I really enjoyed. I thought that was a really cool take on the Justice League and kind of the older style of the heroes and you know the Golden Age and that kind of thing. And I did really like his portrayal in that movie. That now that I know it's him, it makes sense because I do like him as an actor i think uh, is probably another good for me uh this is one we're gonna differ on again all right cool i thought he was kind of just all right all right for me he's a not bs, not BS? All yeah right. he's one of the few that is uh, hitting on that level um maybe i need to go rewatch the movie a bit more but just from the clips that i was watching yeah not a fan <laughs> not not not, not wasn't as a big, big a fan, fan of him yeah. all right we'll put him at a high not bs for now that's another one you know we can talk about it a little bit more later maybe we'll change that but i will certainly I am certainly willing to compromise on that. Next, we have Mr. Yuri Lowenthal, and I believe I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I apologize, Yuri. He played Superman in the Legion of the Superheroes, uh, where he's kind of most well-known. Pretty prolific voice actor, too, when I was looking up his other credits. He's got quite a bit. He actually played Spider-Man, too. So oh. we got, got Spider-Man and Superman. That's pretty cool. So this one is weird for me because I, so I, I completely missed this show. Like, I'd, I'd never seen the show or anything like that. So I was watching a few episodes to kind of prepare for this video. And it's, I mean, this is bordering on a Superboy performance versus a Superman. So the voice acting to me was, you know, obviously a little little higher pitched, a little more immature, a little more, um, I guess, or a little less experienced of a Superman. So it took me some getting used to, but then I started kind of liking it. And I watched a few episodes and actually really liked just the show overall. But for me, probably, Probably an obvious. Another one we're going to differ on. All right. <laughs> because I actually liked his performance as Superman. I thought he did actually a pretty good job at it. Um, I, I rate him a bit at the uh, the good level. At the good. So yeah. did you did you watch this show when it was on? I probably did. Okay. <laughs> I just did a, a couple refresher uh, episodes. Um, 
in preparation for the, the tear making, but it's already been a good couple of days since I, uh, I watched it again. So I thought he was yeah. pretty good with it. And uh, some of the differences I, I like when some of these Superman uh, actors is they actually do like a pretty good range of the actual like speaking with Superman. Some of these guys are just very, you know, over the top type mm -hmm. of thing. And yep. this one, he actually had a good range. So that's why, that's he why did. I liked him a lot. He did. I, uh, so, and because I haven't seen more than a few episodes, I am going to defer to you on that one. We will go ahead and put him in good. I'm going to go back and watch more of that. And at, at some point I will probably hundred percent agree with you. Because, <laughs> all right. Now here's George Newbern. This was the one that took over for, uh, Tim Daly in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I guess Tim couldn't uh, commit to those shows and George took over. And so, like, initially I was thinking, hey, he's probably going to be in good territory because he was basically doing an impression of Tim. Like, he, he, his voice acting was very, very close to Tim's, but obviously he didn't feel like it was quite as strong. Then I went back and watched some of those episodes again, and then I remembered uh, that one of my favorite Superman speeches from any of the Superman media of all time, the World of Cardboard. I feel like I live in a world made of always taking constant care not to break something. When he fought Darkseid, that was from Justice League. Yeah. I initially thought that was from uh, Superman the Animated Series in my head, that's where it was from. That was George and not Tim. So uh, George, to me, belongs in so good, right up, uh, right up there next to Tim Daly. Yep, this one we're agreeing on. There we go. 100% agree go. with it. We'll, we'll yeah. put him a little bit over Danny Dark too. Don't, don't shoot us in the comments, but those two, man, they are, they are now synonymous. That World of Cardboard speech, it, it, all of the fans know what I'm talking about right now. Man, that just that's one of my favorite things I've ever seen from Superman, <laughs> ever. I don't like that Lex ended up saving him, but, <laughs> but, but the speech leading up to that fight, oh, masterpiece. And now we have Mark Harmon, and this is uh, Superman from Crisis on Two Earths. I thought he was okay. I thought that like his voice is good. I like Mark Harmon a lot too as an actor. Um, really like NCIS. I love Summer School, the old 80s movie, if anyone remembers Summer School. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I love Mark Harmon, but at the time he did this, it's kind of an aged voice. Um, so he sounds like an older Superman, but he's not playing an older Superman in the movie. So it kind of took me out of it a little bit. Not bad though at all. I really liked him. I'm, that's probably a not BS territory. For 100%. Me. I had him at not BS as well um, for those exact same reasons. Uh, I was like, I couldn't, couldn't really get to follow that Superman just because I heard that kind of like an older. Yeah, and, a and, little and, bit of a little bit of a gravel in that yeah, voice. Yeah, that exactly. Sh probably shouldn't have been there at the Superman's age that he was playing in that movie, but did a pretty good job. And it's also not one of my favorite of the animated movies overall. Um, just I think there were too many changes from the actual Crisis storyline, which is obviously why they've gone back and are redoing it. So. But again, not a not a bad performance in, by any means. It's a not BS. And now we have Nolan North, who played Superman in Young Justice and also voiced him in uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, if the three of you that played that game are watching this video. Um, <laughs> We're not gonna hold that one against him. Young Justice was pretty good. And Nolan North is a, an amazing voice actor just overall. He's done some of, like, if you've played a video game or you've watched a show, you've heard Nolan North. And I actually hadn't, I didn't remember he had played Superman until I went back and, and watched Young Justice. So he's he's a great voice actor. I don't know if he was a great Superman. I'm, I'm kind of not sure where I want to put him yet. I want to I hear from from you where you got him. Yeah, I, I didn't remember him really as uh, playing Superman either. Uh, again, just prepping for this video. I wasn't super impressed with him in general. So for me, I'm gonna say he's a not BS. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with that as well. I was, I was kind of, was I wasn't sure if I wanted to go all the way down to BS with yeah. him because he's just such a great voice actor that I would <laughs> feel bad doing that, but I wasn't all that impressed with with the performance that he gave as Superman. I do think he was probably a little bit better than Mark, though. Yeah, there so you go. I'm gonna put him a little <laughs> bit above Mark. Okay, now we've got Bo Weaver, and this is from the Ruby Spears Superman show that is, I think it only ran one season, but it, man, it, I have a, a vivid memory of watching this. Um, this was from the later 80s. So this was after Super Friends, and they they started the show. It had like the Christopher Reeve theme and everything like oh, that. Oh, yes. So good. I really liked it. I had gone back and watched um, because in my head this was a so good. Um, then I went back and watched and I was like, you know, he's not, he's not as strong uh, as Tim Daly and 
you know, Danny Dark and George Newbern. But man, he's really close. I'm, I'm thinking probably high good for me. Maybe, maybe bottom is so good. Maybe bottom is so good. Man, we couldn't be further off on this one for me. <laughs> I did not think he did a great job with it uh, in general. Ooh. I had him listed as a not BS. Ooh, well, we're not putting him in not BS for sure. So I, my compromise is I'll put him in good. I'll, okay. put, I'll put him in the bottom of good. There we go. But uh, yeah, no, that was... That was a that was a big part of my childhood for that. I guess you, you probably didn't watch that show. Yeah, I didn't watch it. that one. But uh, again, when I was watching for it, you know, it, he just didn't kind of live up to like the so good like level guys. And even when I was hearing a bunch of the guys that were playing good, I just couldn't put him up that high. Um, I thought he was kind of comparable to uh, old Steve the Pirate there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of oh, level, man. in my opinion. I think, I think he's definitely better than Steve. But uh, a lot I, of my, I may have to actually then actually go find the actual episodes and watch them again. I would watch uh, through it. I would watch through it. I. It's also there's a lot of nostalgia playing uh, for me there because I really like that. I was I was so upset when Super Friends wasn't playing it anymore <laughs> that when this came out I was like oh god it's a Superman show and it's got the, the Christopher Reeve theme in it. So yeah. that was really cool watching that yeah, intro though. So uh, I really like that a lot. So too. that may be skewing my opinion a little bit, but I cannot in good conscience put him in not. But yeah, so we, we'll, we'll compromise on that one. There we go. I like All it. All right. Now we have, this is Roger Rose. This was from uh, Batman, The Brave and the Bold. You tell, tell me what you think about Roger. Um, I actually liked his portrayal in B Brave and the Bold. Um, thought he did really well on it. For me, he's up there with the good level. Um, I just <laughs> kind of, it's one of those uh, that you could... You know, he wasn't doing an over-the-top Superman uh, type of thing. He wasn't being kind of like, goofy or anything like that. That would make me think that he should be in that lower level. So um, just the his overall portrayal of Superman, I thought he did a really great job with it. So uh, it wasn't that high level that we have with the So Good level. So, yeah, we're, we're going to differ again a little bit here. For me, I thought he was a little bit over the top, especially in the, uh, the where he was evil Superman and had the kind of Dark Knight Return style fight with Batman. The, I didn't see that. So. Yeah, so <laughs> or at least the, I don't remember seeing the that. voice acting in that one, man. He's he was just kind of like mustache twirling kind of sounding That's like over funny. the top. For me, he was like I was thinking in the not BS territory, maybe even leaning BS, but you're you're saying good. Um let's go top and not BS as a compromise. Okay, that'll Probably work. Obvious. Yeah, guys, let us know what you thought about Roger Rose. I know Batman Brave and Bold is a, is a pretty well-loved cartoon, but mo more so for the Batman side. And I think, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm rating it a little too harshly because I think that entire show was kind of supposed to be campy. Yes. Like it was, it was kind of more like this, you know, paying homage to like the Adam West Batmans and stuff like that. So I think that was intentional. So I, I, I think top and not BS. Maybe bottom a good. We'll, we'll see what by the time we get to the end, if we move anyone around. All right, and now we have Adam Baldwin, and this was from Superman Doomsday, which I really liked. I thought that was a great uh, animated movie. That was like the kind of the earlier days of the animated, the DC animated movies. Didn't realize it was Adam Baldwin, you know, of course, when I was watching it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I thought he did a decent job. I don't know... I don't know if I put him in good. I think I might still be a not BS for him. Yeah, um... I'll do a compromise on that one. I, I, I did like him uh, a lot with that. Uh, I thought he was good. I'll put him in good. Let's put, let's put him in good, because I was kind of on the fence with it. I, th I thought he was good, but then I you know, went back and watched it, just, just a couple of clips from it, just to refresh. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, it's uh, yeah, not, not was... quite as strong as some of the other ones, but yeah. still, still pretty, pretty good. So and I'm that's kind of like where I was, too. It was kind of like right on that, yeah. that fence level, but I was just like, I rewatched those clips a couple times. Yeah. I was like, oh man, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, now we got kind of a newbie to the uh, Superman voice acting. This is Jack Quaid, uh, old Huey from from the boys. We got Jack Quaid from My Adventures with Superman. Still a relatively new show, so they're only two seasons in. I know we both really liked the first season. Kind of pleasantly surprised by it, other than all the uh, anime-style blushing that was going on in that yeah. show. Which, Hopefully that's not in season two, but we'll see. Uh, well, don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. Um, no, but that obviously that has nothing to do with his voice acting. That That is all the, the artistry of it. So I, man, I think he's he's on the way to being a so good. He's not quite there yet. So he's still in good territory for me. But if my adventures with Superman continues the way it's going and he is portraying it as strongly as he is, he's definitely on his way to being a so good. Yep, 100% agree with you. So we will put him at the top of good for now. 
And, oh, got to end strong. We started strong, got to end strong. This is Bud Collier, just from the radio. He started on the radio, then into the Fleischer. Uh, we have the, the picture of Fleischer there because that's what he's probably most synonymous with. But he did, you know, some of those 60s Superman shows too, like the Superman Aquaman Hour, all the pre-Super Friends stuff. He was, he was the Superman voice of, like, multiple generations, I think. And I still really love him. I'm, that's... That's the other voice that in my head, when I hear Superman, I hear that subtle change from, not even subtle, I hear that change from Clark Kent to Superman. This is a job for Superman. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a so good if I've ever seen one. Yeah, yeah, I agree. He's definitely a so good as well. I'm gonna put him right up there. I'm gonna actually put him just slightly above Danny. Man, those two are like tied for me. They're, so they're, they're, he's slightly above him on the tier, but those are pretty much equal in my eyes. Kind of the same thing with, with Tim and George. Those are pretty equal in my eyes as well. Um, let's see if we want, <laughs> we've got no BS, no total BS. Like you said, there wasn't anything that I thought was really BS. None of them are bad. Um, th those are, this is only 15. I've, I think there was something like, I'm going to say 40, but maybe there was like 40 Superman voice actors. I don't know, but there's just so many of them. There were so many, yeah. Uh, and yeah. those would have been some of the BSs. <laughs> we would have had. We would have had. In fact, I think, didn't Nicolas Cage portray he Superman did. in the animated? He, yeah. he so did. He did uh, Teen Titans Go, I believe. Yeah, so he, you know, he would have probably been in our BS or Total BS, just like he was in our live action. Poor Nicolas Cage. Can't get any love from us. Not for Superman, anyway. Yeah, there are so many uh, that we could have included in this list, and... You know, but we wanted to kind of just keep to that 15, you know, just that we thought was just that. Go with the highest rated. Yeah, the, and the highest rated, which is why agreed. again. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, no, no real bad performances on this list. So, guys, yeah, let us know where these guys rank for you. Let us know some of the voice actors like we're talking about that have portrayed Superman in the past but haven't shown up on some of these top 10 lists and things like that. Let us know where they might rank for you down in the comments. We're good with this. We're gonna keep this as our final tier. As always, we're also including a link to this tier in the description. So if you'd like to go rearrange everything that we've done and make your own perfect tier, we'd love to see that from you. I don't think anyone yet has shared any live action Superman tiers with us, but we'd love for you to share those with us if you're making them. Let us know if there's any type of controversial uh, voice actors like we did on our Superman one with Tom Welling. Flashback. In fact, in, in you saying all of that, I'm kind of wondering if we should move him into not BS. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Honestly, I was thinking between okay. good and not BS, but okay. after you were saying so good, it wanted me just to give up the good rating. <laughs> that ruffled some feathers. That, yeah. that did, that did. And guys, if you saw our comments, you know, after we had some time to think right. about it, we bumped him up. Back, we, we bumped him back up to good. To good, yeah. yeah. Uh, still, the show, so good. Tom Welling, Superman, good. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Clark Which, Kent, so, so good. So, so good. Yeah. But again, uh, after we see the new Superman movie, we're going to be uh, redoing that list yeah. or uh, uh, amending it because there were some additional supermen that well, we, we yeah we we didn't even know about there was you know a, a superboy pilot that never aired from the 60s that we we didn't even know about so thank you guys who all watched that video who subscribed who commented let us know about some of the ones we missed we really appreciate it we love seeing all of the different opinions so continue sharing those i'm sure you'll have some differences of opinion on this list as well so share those down below also like this video if you haven't already we really appreciate it and if you haven't please do consider subscribing. We love all of the new friends we're making through this little journey we're calling Just BSing on YouTube, and we want so many more of you to BS with in the future. Guys, if you have any other suggestions for tiers that you'd like to see, let us know down in the comments because this was a requested tier. So we added it back for Soup's Timber, now in Soup's Dover. We appreciate all of the interactions at all times, and we definitely try to respond to each and every one of your comments. So don't be shy about letting us know what you think. Guys, that'll do it for this video. We will have that tier maker link in the description, as I said, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys.